Hello guys, before we start writing our HTML codes, let's discuss about what is HTML. In the most simpler form or the most simpler definition of HTML is that HTML is the markup language used to describe the web documents, for example web pages and its contents. Okay. HTML stands for hypertext markup language. And now what do I mean by hypertext? Hypertext refers to the links that connects the different web pages to one another giving us functionality to navigate around different web pages okay by using html we can incorporate different kinds of media into our web pages such as we can include images text audio video presentations almost anything we want to include in our inside our web pages okay so guys every web page you see on internet is written in html language okay you can think of html as a skeleton that gives every web pages structure and by using html you can just create structure of your web documents you cannot design your web pages using html alone you have to use styling language or style sheet language called css okay so guys if you ever heard about html5 and if you are confused between these two terms html and html5 then html5 is nothing more than the latest evolution of the standard that defines html and in october 2014 the html working group published html5 as w3c recommendations okay and that defines the fifth major revision of hypertext markup language it is the newer version of the language html with new behaviors attributes elements etc and if you are not familiar with these terminologies like elements attributes behaviors don't worry we'll discuss them while we write our code okay by using html5 you can write more semantic and structured content of your web document in html5 we have different kinds of tags that help us to put different kind of contents into their relevant tags okay so now i think you have proper idea of what html is so now guys in the next video i will show you how to install bracket software then how to create your first file and save it as html and then i'll show you how to write your code first html code and test it into your browser okay and that's all for this video bye bye take care